Okay, I was asked how to do a um, wart in Photoshop. So this is how I do it. I know there's lots of different ways to do it, but I open my warp template. So here's my warp template, and I just go File, Place Embedded, and I'm going to uh, just pick a straight design. So let's do this one, and it'll open like this. So now it's over top of my template. Now I just reduce the opacity down. It's a little too light here. There we go. To where I can see, so you can see how far out it is. Now I don't just clip it because if you do, if it's a seamless design, now it won't line up. So that's really important, especially with stripes, especially with plaids, things like that. This one probably wouldn't really make a difference, but it's really, really important with some of the other um, designs. So I just do them all the same. So once I have my design, my opacity turned how I want, I hit control transform, control T, and then I right click warp. Now how I do it is I do the four corners first. So I move these four corners to where they're at the corners. Then I do the sides. Now be careful not to pull up or down because see how that moves the design. You don't want to do that, especially like I said, with designs that are seamless because then they won't line up right. So just be careful and mindful of that. All right, now I do the bottom. And now I do the top. All right, that looks good to me. All right, and then just to make sure, I come over here and I hit the control button. I hold the control button while I click on this layer panel right here and it will outline it and that looks good. If you wanted to clip it just to make sure that it's the same every single time, I hit control. So once it's outlined, then I come up to the layer I wanna clip right here and I hit control J and I just hide the other layers. Make sure you turn your opacity back up before you save it or print it. And there you have it. There is your warp template using Photoshop. I hope that helped.